America! Fuck yeah! I'm gonna be a butthurt little twat for a second. I'm going to be pissed. So if you're not about me just absolutely ranting about the American public, it's 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 okay. You can click off this video. I won't be offended. I work retail, so that means I work with the general public. Cool, I signed up for this job. That's fine. But I've just about have had it with the salty boomers. We've been dealing with this whole ear virus thing for the past, like I would say, six months now. We've all been in this together, and we've been trying for very long through social social distancing, cleaning all of the services, staying in our homes. We've been trying to cut down on the cases so that way we can return back to normal eventually. However, for some reason, you old fucks can't seem to get this through your damn brain. So what I'll do for you, I will make this easy on you. It is mandatory for you to wear a mask out in public, period. That's just how it is. It's mandatory. I don't care if you think that you have a breathing problem, which in reality, that makes no sense whatsoever. Masks don't actually affect how you breathe. It doesn't matter if you think people are taking away your civil liberties because that's not true if you felt that way you wouldn't be wearing clothes because that would also be taking away your civil liberties you can't make the argument that this thing isn't a real thing and that it's just some government created conspiracy because people are dying from this thing are you that much of a whiny bitch that you just can't handle wearing a fucking mask over your face and correctly might i add the amount of people that have absolutely confused well, how to wear a mask is bonkers to me let me get you a hip real quick it covers your mouth and your nose, bitch. <laughs> Wearing your mask and having your nose exposed is completely defeating the purpose. Not only that, whenever you walk into a store and you immediately take off the mask, that is defeating the purpose as well. It's actually a higher odds of you spreading it inside of a store. And also, it's not a chin strap. Like, why do you wear this on your chin if you're around other people? If you're social distancing at six feet or more, okay, fine. I, I have no problem with that. But wear that bitch correctly if you're going to do anything. My dad once told me, if you're going to do something right, do it correctly. And all of you fuckers are not wearing your mask correctly. Just do it. If you want to be out of this and you want to have your civil liberties back, then just wear the goddamn mask. It's not that hard of an issue. Also, stores are going to have policies that combat the spreading of the virus for you. They have your interests in mind when they do these things. Because believe it or not, stores actually care about their customer base. And whether you think it's on a humanitarian level or the fact that they want to have customers alive to buy their product, either way, makes sense, right? So if they can only have a couple of people in the store, even though it's a hot day out, understand that they have policies to keep you safe. I don't know. I'm just kind of over the fact that people are absolutely degenerates when it comes to this whole thing. The same people who were calling people snowflakes a year ago are the same people that are whining about a mask going over your face. What are you, a pussy? It's such a simple thing that you just, just fucking remember to do. Everybody who likes to pretend to act tough and then cry over one small inconvenience of their life are totally pathetic. Got to live some resemblance of normal life. And there are things that are going to be changing from here on out because of the fact that Mother Nature decided to fuck us. What can we do about it? Whining and bitching over a goddamn mask is not going to do anything. So stop being a pussy actually fix the world, listen to the medical experts who are trained to talk about these things, and then maybe one day we can actually get back to normal life. But I already know I'm just sitting here preaching to the choir of people that understand these things because you people are smart. But the tiny brained individuals are going to be stubborn and just not even hear me. So, oh, and my game just crashed. I just, uh, I just had to rant real quick. That's, that's, that's all I had to do. It was on my mind and to be honest, I was kind of a dickhead about it. Doesn't matter to me. Don't worry guys, my next video will be less, uh, pissed. <laughs> I just had to go off about that because I just people are absolutely tiny brained. They have the IQ of this posted note that I try to put over my notes. The video that you see on your screen right now is gameplay of modded Modern Warfare 2. I also encounter WSD Mitch and he gets a nuke. So that's featured in that video as well. So go ahead and tap on your screen right now. Go do it now. Your boys, been your president. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'm out, guys. Peace.